And just like that, we're going back to Canada again. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back to Got A Ukulele, it's review day. Have a look at the link below this video, that will take you to the website where you'll get a lot more detail and this this is just a summary. Um, I'm running my usual thank yous across the bottom of the screen there, I never know which way this goes on the video, whichever way it's going. There are people who donate to keep this site going, I know I say this every week, but uh, my thanks go out to those people because it's the only reason I can continue doing this because I don't get paid to do it by the brands or the shops. And if you like what you see on the Got A Ukulele YouTube channel, I'd really want to try and get that subscribe account higher. Um, so if you hit that subscribe button down there, that would really help me out too. Okay, yeah, so I said last week, uh, wrongly actually, that it was my first uh, instrument review from Canada. I'd actually reviewed a Seagull and a Godan, uh, both made in Canada. But it was, it was my first regular ukulele, I suppose. And then sure enough, like buses, and then another one comes along. So we're going back to Canada. And this brand is called Twisted Wood. And this is the Twisted Wood Ember Concert Ukulele. Uh, yeah, they're a company based in Canada um, and they explained to me that they design and spec their instruments in Canada. They're made though to a, a more of a budget, they're made in China um, and then they come back to Canada where they are inspected, set up and checked. Um, and this is kind of middle ground for them. They do some really entry level all laminates. They do some very, very nice looking all solid Koa models right up at the top end, um, over a thousand I think dollars. Um, this one, middle ground, this is a solid top instrument, but laminate back and sides. And <clears throat> it's a nice looking thing. It's pretty simple, uh, but you know, I like simple. It's not ostentatious. And my first glances at it is that it's remarkably accurately put together, very exact, but I'll come on to that in a moment. So we have two pieces of pretty attractive mahogany on the top. Uh, we've got a shoulder cutaway here, Florentine cutaway. Um, and that's solid wood. And then on the back sides, two pieces of laminate, and on the very slightly arched back, uh, with a flaming in it as well, uh, is laminate mahogany as well. So all ma mahogany, and um, you know what? I think it's pretty nice. We'll come on to uh, how exact the build is in a moment, but um, moving on, the bridge. Uh, a lot of people saw the sneak peek picture I put up and thought this was rich light. It's not actually, it's wood, it's purple heart, um, one of the tidiest bridges I've seen for a long time, really, really smoothly finished, um, fitted with a compensated top bone saddle. This is a through body uh, bridge style, um, which a lot of people still say, oh, that's really complicated. I don't know how to change the strings. It's not complicated. You push the strings through the hole, keep pushing, and eventually they appear here. You pull them out, tie a knot in them or tie a bead on, pull them back, and there you are. I think it's really easy. It's simpler, than, more simple than a tie bar. Uh, decoration, uh, inlaid wooden um, herringbone style around the sound hole, which is really neatly done. And then this black edge binding around the top, back and the cutaway. Now what I was saying about it being exact is it's kind of almost almost sharp on some of these edges. I just, it would be nice if they were sort of chamfered off a little bit. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm really I'm really nitpicking there. The build quality is, is really, really good. The finish is satin, open pore. Uh, and that's really, really good too. It's There's no pooling at all. It's been done very nicely. Um, yeah, that's okay. Let's move on. The neck isn't specified, but I'm guessing it is made of mahogany. Uh, there's a joint here and there's a joint at the headstock, but they're incredibly hard to spot. Um, I don't know whether I can even show you them, how difficult they are to spot, but they are jointed. That's nice. Um, tapers down to 35 mil, 27 G. So that's very, Far Eastern standard, it's not for me. Um, I like a, either a flatter profile here because it's quite rounded or a wider um, uh, nut and string spacing. But you know, as I always say, your mileage may vary on that. Everyone's hands are different. It is topped with, this time it is Rich Light. This is a Rich Light um, composite fingerboard. Rich Light is a paper based composite. It's used by brands like Gibson and Martin. So it's, you know, it's not, it's not a cheap thing. And it's very sustainable because it's not, it doesn't involve you cutting down ebony trees or rosewood trees. And because it's um, an artificial material, it is absolutely jet black. That's very nice. Frets, uh, you get a generous 20 of those, 14 to the body. No sharp fret ends, and it seems to be edge bound as well, so you can't see the fret ends. 
um, oh, get the focus there, there you are. So it's edge bound. You get position dots at 5, 7, 10, double 12th, one at the 15th, and they're on the side too. Um, okay, that's quite nice. It's very, very tidy neck. It's just not the right width for me. Uh, beyond that bone nut, headstock, ubiquitous, um, three-pointed crown. Um, kind of plain, really, I think, the headstock. It's the Twisted Wood logo, uh, a T and a W, and it's my gripe, as always. Um, it's laser etched. I just think it would have been nicer with an inlay, or even even a screen print, would I think, would have looked nicer. I don't like laser etching. But there we are. Um, not life and death, I suppose. The tuners are unbranded sealed chrome gears, small black buttons. Not much more to say about them, but they work okay. Um, they're tidy. Comes with a set of Aquila strings. Also comes with a branded padded gig bag, and inside that pocket is a uh, there's a cleaning cloth and a sticker and stuff like that, in there, and a little uh, cord chart thing. So it's um, you know. It's a nice little package, actually, and I'd never heard of Twisted Wood before because they're not in the UK. They're in Canada and North American stores. Um, the pricing is where things got a little bit confusing with me. So they sent me a link to their website, which automatically shows me the American pricing. And on their website, this is up at $279 US. And I immediately thought, whoa, 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 that's, that's too much. That's too much money for solid top, laminate back and sides. As well put together as it is, um, it is too much money. And I just really didn't understand that. So I did a bit of hunting online and uh, with the help of a friend, thank you, Reed Hepworth, uh, who lives in Canada, uh, we found out that really most of the shops over there are selling them for about two, uh, one nine, 220 Canadian dollars. That's about 140 quid, I think, in the UK. That's a good price. So uh, bear in mind when you see the scores of my review that I've reviewed this based on the shop price that you'll get, street price, as it were, um, because I trust my readers are canny enough to find the right deal. But uh, if I was scoring this based on 279 US, that's crazy, out of the park money, it's not worth that. Um, 220 Canadian, yeah, it is. Um, and in fact, it's a good deal. Right, okay, so apart from that price confusion, um, it's not it's not the most staggering looking instrument, but uh, it's hardly offensive. Uh, I like the clean look of it, I like the binding, I like the fingerboard, uh, the rosette, all that kind of stuff. The neck width is not for me, um, but you know, inside's tidy too, uh, very tidy in fact. Uh, not heavy, it is 550 grams and it balances okay so i'll have a play uh i'm not against laminate woods at all in fact i'd say quite regularly that um i'd rather a good laminate than a poor quality solid wood and there's a lot of poor quality solid woods out there so we'll get her up to tune up to pitch Volume, yeah, good, very good volume. Sustain, all right, not, not the best, but um, you know, it's a 150 quid instrument, but it's not bad actually, and it's quite, there's a lot of vibration going on into my, into my chest. than I expected for mahogany. I don't know whether that is the use of laminate that's um, making it a bit more chipper, um, but it's certainly bright, but it's not offensive. It's very clean and crisp sounding.
Volume up the neck's good. Yeah, it's not, um, no, look, you, we know what the price is here. It's not a characterful tone, it, but it's not all, it's not all solid co or anything like that. It's a laminate back and side, solid mahogany top. Um, but it's very, very, very playable, very nice, inoffensive tone, actually. Um, good volume. Uh, I do like the way that plays. The neck isn't for me, and I'm just still confused about that pricing. I mean, if you've seen this in the USA, at 279 you're not going to pick that pick one up i mean because you can get so many other instruments for a lot less than that i think you can get a solid topped uh carla for something like 175 dollars maybe even less but if it is 219 canadian um yeah <coughs> good price good price um and a nice alternative to the carlas the oharlas that usually dominate the lanakais um because the quality control on this clearly has worked because this is very very clean and well put together um <coughs> yeah i do like it the twisted wood ember it has got a product code em600c but i like the name ember the ember concert i think it's also available in tenor and i think you can also get it specified with a range of different pickups as well um but this one is the concert without a pickup which i'm glad to see actually um, as I say, 220 Canadian street price, I think. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, there we are. We are racing towards Christmas. I've still got lots more to get through. Um, back next week, something um, different, but not you might have seen before kind of thing. I won't say any more than that, but um, certainly not a wooden ukulele, let's put it that way. Uh, I hope you all take care. Thanks very much for watching. Um, that's very kind of you. Uh, I hope you have a very good week ahead. Stay safe, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.